Hey guys, in this video I just want to quickly show you how you can go ahead and install this official Android 4.0.1 by Samsung that got leaked. Um, it is basically the firmware being called the i9100XXKP1. Let's see here, was that the full name? Um, yeah, uh, i9100 has obviously the Galaxy S2's model number and then uh, XXKP1. Uh, it, it was a build or you know that they, they build this uh, on December the 7th book and we don't know if they're gonna do more changes to it but probably because this one is alpha as hell it's buggy as hell so um, yeah they're probably gonna do a lot of changes and hopefully we'll get more leaks in the future uh, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can go ahead and install it on your Samsung Galaxy S2 now let me start off with saying that I have no idea about different variants on the Samsung Galaxy Galaxy S2 if it's gonna work for you or you know things like that but I suppose it should work for all of the Samsung Galaxy S2's out there that is uh, on the that is on the model number or being called i9100 uh, but I have no idea but this is obviously the European one so let's go ahead and begin so what we first need to do here is download a zip file that I will provide uh, from samfirmware.com uh, yeah and uh, then it's a zip file, it's like 300 megabytes and then when you go ahead and extract it, I'm using 7-zip here, it's a free tool uh, you just open it up uh, in the you know, manager or you just right click and you know, just unpack here but you know, when you're gonna do that, it's gonna ask you for a password you just wanna type in samfirmware.com uh, they always use that on their files so go ahead and do that and as you see my computer gets locked now just because of that so I'm just gonna close this process I have no idea but sometimes that thing happens so I see I should use go ahead and right click and you know just type in the password so one second okay so once you have done that make sure that you have the USB drivers uh, for your Samsung Galaxy S2 so you know you just go ahead and download the, that own program yeah, keys and you know you just go ahead and install the USB drives for, because the first time you use your Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, with your you know computer and install keys and everything you're gonna get this USB 2.0 like drivers that you need so go ahead and do that and then you know when keys is up and ready to go you just close it again and then you need to download Odin and I'm using version 1.85 here but I suppose you can just go ahead and download Odin uh, version 1.82 three as well um, many people use that but uh, you know it's connected uh, I have it on here running on Android 2.3.4 something like that yes maybe 2.3.5 even uh, let's see okay I think I'm running on 2.3.5 or 2.3.4 whatever I restored it to stock Android and uh, yes it's 2.3.4 I'm pretty sure about that but I restored it uh, and I don't have root so you don't need like any root I think for this I'm pretty sure it, you don't need any root but uh, it's running here stock Android um, so this is obviously an alpha build as I said in previous videos so what you just want to go ahead and do here is uh, when you have connected it with the USB cable fire up Odin you should see that yellow thingy if you don't see that then it's something wrong uh, because that basically means you see the message down here that's added that it's connected you know to recognize your phone uh, and then you don't want to check anything else here uh, it should already be checked on auto reboot and f reset time and that's what have been working for me the most of the times so I've been doing this uh, you don't want to check repetition flash lock phone EFS clear or phone bootloader update or whatever so the first one I'm gonna do here is uh, you know as you know we did extract wait a second 